Picture this. A universe alive with billions of stars, each one possibly nurturing planets brimming with life. Cities, cultures, maybe even beings gazing back at us. But when we turn our telescopes to the heavens, what do we find? Silence. Not a whisper, not a signal, not a single cosmic postcard. This is the Fermi paradox, the question that keeps astronomers up at night. If the universe is so vast, where is everybody? Welcome to our cosmic investigation. Strap in because we're about to unravel one of the greatest mysteries of all time. And trust me, you'll want to hear the end. For centuries, humanity has stared at the stars, wondering if we're alone. From ancient stargazers to modern scientists, the question persists, is there intelligent life out there? The Fermi paradox, named after the legendary physicist Enrico Fermi, cuts to the core of this mystery. If our galaxy is packed with billions of stars and planets, why haven't we spotted any signs of alien civilizations? Today, we're diving into the science, the theories, and the stakes not just for finding aliens, but for understanding our own future. Let's get started. First, let's set the scene. Our Milky Way galaxy is home to somewhere between 100 and 400 billion stars. That's billion with a B. Scientists estimate up to 60 billion of those stars might have planets in their habitable zones sweet spots where liquid water could exist, the key to life as we know it. With 13.8 billion years of cosmic history, there's been plenty of time for life to spark, evolve, and maybe even build interstellar empires. So why the silence? Enrico Fermi asked this question back in 1950 over a casual lunch with colleagues. His words were simple but profound. Where is everybody? If life is common, we should see something. Radio signals, spaceships, maybe even giant structures built by advanced societies. But despite decades of searching with programs like SETI, we've got nothing. It's like shouting into a crowded stadium and hearing only your own echo. The Fermi paradox forces us to ask, is the universe empty? Or are we missing something? I'll be honest, this paradox hooked me as a kid. I grew up devouring sci-fi, imagining epic alien encounters. But the more I learned about the cosmos, the more this silence felt unsettling. It's not just about numbers, it's about what those numbers imply. If life is out there, why isn't it reaching out? And what does that say about our own chances of surviving long enough to join the cosmic conversation? Let's dig into the theories that try to crack this paradox. One of the most mind-blowing comes from mathematician John von Neumann, who dreamed up self-replicating machines. Think AI-powered probes that mine resources, build copies of themselves, and spread across the galaxy like wildfire. If a civilization launched these probes, they could blanket the Milky Way in just a few hundred million years. That's a cosmic blink. But here's the twist. We haven't seen a single one. No probes, no alien artifacts, nada. Some say these machines could be so tiny, like nanobots, that we wouldn't notice them. Others argue their absence means no civilization has ever built them. Why? Maybe because most civilizations don't survive long enough to try. This leads us to the great filter hypothesis. And fair warning, it's a gut punch. The idea is that there's a barrier, a filter, that stops most civilizations from becoming advanced enough to be detectable. Maybe the filter is behind us, like the insanely rare step from single-celled microbes to complex life. That took billions of years on Earth, so maybe we're a cosmic fluke. But what if the filter is ahead? Think about humanity's last century. We've invented nuclear weapons that could end us in a day. We're wrestling with climate change, burning through resources faster than we can replace them. Carl Sagan once warned that civilizations might hit a wall when they industrialize, unable to handle the fallout of their own progress. If that's true, we're approaching the filter right now. This idea hits hard for me. We're at a tipping point, climate crises, global tensions, 
the dizzying pace of tech like AI. The Fermi paradox feels like a cosmic mirror showing us how fragile we are. It's not just about aliens, it's about whether we can keep our own story going. To ground this paradox in real life, let's meet Frank Drake, an astronomer who took the search for aliens to the next level. In 1960, Drake launched Project Ozma, the first attempt to listen for alien radio signals. Picture him in a retro lab, headphones on, tuning a massive telescope to scan nearby stars for a cosmic hello. He heard nothing, but his work sparked the SETI program, which still listens today. Drake's story is a reminder of our relentless curiosity, our need to know if we're alone. Now shift gears to a different kind of story. In Twenty Bayi, a family in rural Nevada spotted strange lights dancing in the sky. Their shaky video went viral, fueling UFO fever online. Scientists rolled their eyes. Extraordinary claims need extraordinary evidence. But stories like this show how the Fermi paradox captures our imagination. It's why we keep searching, hoping for a breakthrough. Then there's the zoo hypothesis, a wild idea that aliens are out there but hiding, watching us like zookeepers observing animals. Maybe they were waiting for us to mature before saying hi. It's a cool concept, but as physicist Brian Cox points out, zookeepers don't usually hide from their animals. Plus our telescopes, like the James Webb, are getting better at spotting signals. If aliens are playing hide and seek, they're pros. I've always found the zoo hypothesis a bit too convenient. It's like clinging to the hope of alien life despite the silence. But it does make you wonder, if someone's watching, what do they see in us? A species worth contacting or one still figuring itself out? So what does the Fermi paradox mean for us? If advanced civilizations are rare, it might be because they don't survive their own growing pains. That's where this mystery gets personal. Humanity is at a crossroads. We've sent rovers to Mars, built global networks, and harnessed renewable energy. But we're also staring down existential threats, climate change, nuclear risks, and the ethical minefield of emerging tech. The Great Filter Hypothesis is a wake-up call. To become a spacefaring civilization, we need to solve these problems. Carl Sagan believed that interstellar societies must shed their violent, predatory instincts to thrive. In other words, to reach the stars, we need to act like one planet, united. This resonates deeply with me. I think about the world my kids will inherit, a place where tech is leaping forward, but so are the risks. The Fermi paradox isn't just a puzzle, it's a challenge. Can we navigate the filter? Can we prove we're more than a fleeting spark in the cosmos? Here's what the Fermi paradox boils down to. Our future is not written in the stars, it's in our hands. If we're the only conscious beings in the Milky Way, that makes us insanely precious. Every decision we make, how we care for our planet, how we resolve conflicts, how we wield our technology, decides whether we endure or fade into silence. This paradox isn't just about finding aliens. It's about ensuring that one day if another civilization scans the skies, they'll see humanity shining back, a beacon of resilience and hope. So let's rise to the challenge. Let's navigate the filter, united as a species, and write a story that echoes across the galaxy. That's our cosmic journey for today. What do you think? Are we alone or is the universe keeping secrets? Share your thoughts below. Give us a thumbs up if this sparked your curiosity and hit subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of existence. Until next time, keep looking up.